Hello viewers, I am Ram Sunil Kumar. Today I will be talking about Mirwin Pondar's Worley reduction. So what precisely is the definition of Mirwin Pondar's Worley reduction? Classically, the definition of Mirwin Pondar's reaction is that it involves the chemoselective reduction of carbonyl substrates with aluminium alkoxide, generally aluminium isopropoxide as a catalyst and isopropyl alcohol as sacrificial hydride source. Now this sacrificial hydride source, one must remember why I am saying this that we will discuss as the class moves ahead. Now the general reaction for mirvin pondorf worley reduction is that this is this is your carbonyl compound RCOR and this is isopropyl alcohol as a solvent or the sacrificial hydride source in the presence of aluminium catalyst aluminium alkoxide giving alcohol and acetone is removed see one more thing that reaction nature of the reaction this is the reversible one now in modern times the reaction has been modified and the modifications are firstly that this alcohol has been changed to some different solvent systems or some sometimes some chiral centers many a times aluminium is being replaced by zirconium tin or titanium and other metals there, there has been another modifications wherein this alkoxide moiety has also been replaced. So, so currently we cannot restrict ourselves to simply the aluminium isopropoxide and the isopropyl alcohol. There are n number of permutations and combinations possible. Now what we discussed that it is a reversible reaction so the Lee Chatelier principle is applicable what does it mean see if the reaction is reversible and if out of the products any of the products is removed by any of the means then reaction proceeds in the forward direction so here also same thing happens if acetone is removed by distillation, the reaction moves further forward direction and we get more and more yield of the this alcoholic product. This particular reduction has chemoselectivity for carbonyl compounds. So chemoselectivity is that it selectively chooses carbonyl group whether it is aldehyde or ketone and aldehyde may give you the primary alcohols and uh, ketones give you secondary alcohols. So there are different kinds of selectivities. One among them is the chemoselectivity and rest the regioselectivity and stereoselectivity. We will discuss about stereoselectivity later. The reaction is a concerted mechanism. What I mean by concerted is that the, the formation of one bond and breaking up of the other bond take place simultaneously okay and the details we'll discuss in the mechanism aluminium functions as lewis acid lewis acid is something that accepts the electron pair so this part also we'll be looking at in the mechanism aspect then this is applicable for both lab settings as well as large scale settings. So this is highly applicable method. Now to let's be acquainted with the general reactions and their applications. For example, even if there are reducible groups like nitro group, there is no impact on nitro group. Rather, these carbonyl groups get reduced to alcoholic group. Likewise, there is no impact on this double bond, it is intact, but this 
aldehyde group gets reduced. There is no impact on the aromatic system, it is intact, but the carbonyl group get reduced. Likewise, the double bond of alpha beta unsaturated centers remains intact and double bond gets reduced. And very important application is that estrone gets converted into estradiol. Simply this C double bond O gets reduced to OH. Now this reaction has a very important mechanism. Mechanism of this reaction begins with the attack of the lone pair of electron that are available on oxygen. So they will be attacking this aluminium. So aluminium gets tetra coordinated. So if when that happens, the electrons of aluminium oxygen bond will be shifting towards this bond so that a CH3 C double bond or CS3 that is acetone group is formed. So this is acetone. But when it happens, this becomes a double bond. Both the electrons now remain with hydrogen. So it becomes hydride and hydride can move from here to this carbonyl carbon which was rendered electrophilic because of this aluminium center because aluminium has already abstracted this electron pair from oxygen. So hydride can very easily attack this carbonyl carbon. So ultimately a six membered cyclic structure is going to be formed. This transition state breaks down further such that this acetone group is removed on one side and this R1, C, R2, H and oxygen R1, C, R2, H and oxygen along with alkoxide group aluminium and this same unit is repeated this whole unit is repeated to this position as well as this position. So this is called as mixed alkoxide. Now step 2 of this mechanism is there is an exchange of the proton of alcohol with that of the mixed alkoxide. So there are two possibilities, one being this hydrogen and second being this OH, this proton. So basically this it is this H which is going to get exchanged. We get aluminium isopropoxide catalyst regenerated and this hydrogen has been taken up from the solvent. So why this is called a sacrificial? The reason being and that we will see in later reactions as well that this isopropyl alcoholic group or any other group that first integrates with the aluminium isopropoxide and then this hydride ion here it attacks the carbonyl. So that is the reason it is called a sacrificial hydride. And why it is taken in excess that you can very easily see that it has to exchange minimum three alkoxide ions one, two and three. Well, so this is how we get reduced carbonyl compound or the alcoholic group is formed. We have three important points. One is that hydride is supplied by the catalyst. Second proton is supplied by the solvent. How this is concerted? Concerted is that bond breaking, this bond breaking, a bond making, a bond breaking, bond making, all these things is simultaneous. Hence the name concerted reaction. Because of concerted reactions, less amount of energy is required. Next very important point is isotope leveling experiment. In this case, one of the hydrogen is being substituted by deuterium. Deuterium is exchanged with hydrogen and the effect was seen. What happens precisely? So what is observed is that what happened in case of hydrogen was happening in case of deuterium. 
so here deuteride was migrating with the all the electron with itself so deuteride was migrating and six member transition state was formed likewise mixed alkoxide was formed acetone like previously was removed and this exchanges with al isopropyl alcohol to get you the reduced carbonyl compound but very importantly the this molecule is being substituted by deuterium so what it, it implies it implies it is twofold one that there is involvement of deuterium so it is the cyclic process and secondly the deuterium is integrated through this mechanism only there is no other mechanism now we have to see its selectivity stereoselectivity is found out using prochiral ketones prochiral ketones that is ketones having different functional groups upon which when some groups are attacked we get an optically active compound so here we have three different methods of generating the stereoselective product one being the usage of chiral alcoholic solvent as hydride source so this was your hydride source now this hydride source it has a here hydrogen which is below the plane so it acts as a hydride source how come so it reacts with this aluminium this is aluminium alkoxide this moiety so this oxygen carbon bond is broken and instead of that this this OH gets integrated so ultimately we get isopropyl 2 units and this unit this is optically active center so this group gets attached here so what we get is 82 percent of the yield out of that 54 percent is ee now this ee is another very important concept what it says that ee is enantiomeric excess that if there are two product two enantiomeric products are formed one of the product is formed in 54 percent larger quantities than the another one so in this case one can say that if the product is say 70 percent then 50 15 percent of the amount was for the another isomer that 54 is not 54 and 46 it is basically somewhere around 70 is to 15 percent so that means this 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 product is going to be formed in 70 percent amount or more than that so you can very clearly see why this product is formed in much larger quantities the reason being that this this is the arrangement of the transition state when aluminium isopropoxide ion integrates this chiral alcoholic center it looks like oxygen carbon ch3 h and ph ch3 ch this oxygen and ph so this whole unit is from this chiral alcoholic center but there is arrangement of this phenyl ring that is this phenyl ring is different in one it is above the plane which is anti to this ring while in second case it is cease to each other so naturally because of steric hindrance this preposition is formed in very less quantity than this one so one can very easily say this is formed in more than 70 percent amount this is 15 percent amount second method is using chiral ligand as aluminium alkoxide so you can see this this chiral ligand itself is giving the optically active product so the principle of asymmetric synthesis is that either one of the reactant may be chiral or solvent may be chiral 
the catalyst may be chiral. So we had seen the solvent as a chiral center, now the catalyst as a chiral center. So now what is happening? This hydrogen which was present with this, it attacks this uh, carbonyl carbon giving rise to O negative and that combines with aluminium and all those things are happening and we get 83% EE. One can say that this product, this enantiomeric excess product is formed in somewhere around 90% amount while its second isomer in which there may be some different geometry they, that is hardly formed in 7% amount. So 93 minus 7, 83. So somewhere this might be the composition this is formed in very high purity. So let us begin with intramolecular MPV reduction. So intramolecular reduction can give good enantiomeric purity. The reason being there is possibility of just one transition state. Why it is so? It is so because this oxygen atom it combines with the aluminium so oxygen carbon in CH2 then carbon hydride integrates with this so and attacks this carbonyl. So in a way a very rigid kind of structure is going to be formed. This transition state is very rigid. So ultimately we always get only one product in 68% yield but more than 95% of EE because single product is formed and there is no possibility of any other product. Now this is food for thought here uh, herein I will be telling you about the carbonion transfer. Now till now we have seen this mechanism this hydride shifts toward this carbonyl and this oxygen attacks here this electron comes here and this is how acetone is formed. If the, the researchers thought why not to think about this R group that is carbonion migrating from here to here but there were little problems problems like this hydride is more facile this is easily removed and easily it can attack it but here this removal is very very difficult but if there is removal of this acetone easier in that case this R minus will be formed and that can attack and that is what happened. So one can see that carbon carbon and carbon here it is OH so there was a removable acetone group already embedded into this substrate. Now this substrate got integrated with aluminium and later on that attacks this carbonyl carbon and ultimately the product is this. So this is kind of acetylene group is getting added. See one can see the mechanism from here. This is methyl group. So methyl is getting substituted so it is getting substituted by this whole unit it substituted over here and then like this and uh, in the subsequent reaction when chloral this is CCL CHO chloral in the presence of DCM gets you this product and acetone is removed so this is very interesting reaction so these are the carbonion transfer reactions now I have a few questions, think over it and try to answer it and my students will write the mechanism and mail it to me. So this is how we are uh, completing this topic. My uh, special reference to this species that everybody knows it. So one has to be very very careful. Please be safe. Thank you.